women have slits in their vaginas. Okay, let's start. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Three. How y'all want to start this? Uh, I'll give like the intro, y'all. Uh, Lazy introduces himself and then passes it back to me, and then I'll pass it to you, and then I'll go from there. I'll do I'll do my intro separately on a separate track. Then it'll be all right. All right, all right. Ready? Here yep. we go. I just what wanted to have a good game. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. And amidst the coronavirus scare and government officials telling us to not hold large gatherings, the three of us came together from the comfort of our quarantine residences to bring you guys a try commentary regarding our weak thoughts about Warzone Battle Royale. But before we get into that, Lazy, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm new kind of noisy. I'm a Twitch streamer. And that's about it. Yeah, hey, he's been on the channel a couple times. You guys mm -hmm. may remember him. And then we also have my very good friend Ryan or Prestigious Key. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, Welcome so to the commentary. We've been, you know, playing um, Blackout Battle Royale. I can't even count how many days we've spent together playing that. Um, Endless and... days. I mean, we yeah, played, we played literally like every day, eight hours a day, unhealthy amounts. Yeah. <laughs> And I think we can provide some useful insight to our thoughts on Warzone Battle Royale. Now, um, Lazy, what are your initial thoughts after playing for a week? Uh, solo duos, quads to be added. I'll be down with five mans. I agree with that. But What about the 200 player count? 200 player count, I'd be cool with that. They mm. can bump it, but I, the biggest problem is there's no, so, no solos. Duos, yeah. quads. I, I like solos too because there's not yeah. always an opportunity for someone to get on and it's exactly. kind of awkward when it's three people when there's more than three people in our friends group yeah and we all want to play and it feels like we're always leaving somebody out exactly yeah i think three is way too small four is perfect five would be ideal oh, five would be better. great mm -hmm. yeah and i think the game two would play at a more faster pace like right now i think games will last about like what do y'all say like 25 30 minutes yeah. About 25 minutes, yeah. 25, 30, yeah. Yeah, I think with five, it definitely would, you know, go a, a little bit more faster. And like y'all said, too, it's it's better to have, you know, more friends around, too. Um, so I think five would be perfect, too, in, in, in a perfect world. But four, I'd be okay with. Um, but in terms of, like, looting, though, this was one of my um, biggest, like, eh, I'm not really all too sure if, if I like this. Because, um, you know, when you loot somebody, like, literally all of their loot, you know, gets scattered on the ground. Mm -hmm. And weapons and other items can be clumped together. So, like, you know, if I'm trying to search through to find a kill streak, then it may be, you know, stuck right next to a weapon. And yeah. I end up picking up that weapon back up. That's one thing that I absolutely did not like about not having, like, a bag... Uh, mechanic feature like there was in blackout but i get why they they chose to um you know not have a bag because it, it's better for you know engagements you can you know i guess react faster if somebody's shooting at you but would you guys maybe like to see like a, a, a loot sorting system besides just having everything scattered on the ground it, it kind of reminds me of fortnite in a way right yeah because when you yeah. kill someone in fortnite then all of their stuff kind of pops out and to be honest, I think that adds to engagements too, because if someone sees a huge pile of loot, they want to come investigate it. Yeah. And you can almost use that to lure people. Um, yeah. I like the system in this game a lot because running that over ammo, you just pick it up. You don't have to worry about picking up each individual ammo pack. You don't have to worry about running out in that regard. I've never found a time where I was like saying, dude, I need some ammo. I've never had that happen in Warzone because mm -hmm. there's always an abundant amount of it. But the one Absolutely. thing that I do have to say is I'm not necessarily a big fan, and this is kind of transitioning. I, I don't mean to throw it off the rails, but the thing that I'm not a big fan of is the gas mask and armor system. How come? I don't like how it automatically puts the gas mask on. Uh, Sometimes mm. you can be in an engagement and then you stop everything you're doing to put a mask on when you didn't even yeah. realize you were that close to the edge. It's very annoying. Like, I yeah. feel like you should have the option to hold triangle or something to put that on or hold Y. That way, if you knew that you needed to survive a little bit longer out in the gas, you had the option to throw your mask on. But having that happen automatically, I've seen far too many clips from my friends where they're trying to parachute into somewhere, and before they can deploy their parachute, they're trying to put a gas mask on, and it just ends in failure because yep. 
they have no control over it at that point. And the right. same thing about the armor too. I feel like I, I get interrupted on my armor way too much when I'm trying to do something with it. And the animation just takes a long it. time. Yeah, it just takes a long time. That's yeah. Those are my gripes. Those are the two biggest things that just kind of bum me out about the mode. Yeah, yeah, with armor, you should be able to switch weapons to cancel your armor. Yeah. What about... Because you brought up the storm, Ryan. Do you think, like, the storm zone, like, the little line, the gas, do you think it needs to be more visible, or do you not really have a problem with yes, that? Yes, yes. There needs to be a dedicated edge. I think that it needs to look like you know exactly when it's going to start. And I get that they're trying to do kind of like a, a billowing of smoke to resemble gas, but you never know when you're truly going to be in it because it always yeah. kind of seems like it's around you. And I also yeah. think that the circle needs to close faster. Hmm. Do you have that problem too, Lazy, where you struggle to see the, the zone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a good, like, 10, 15 feet of just straight gas that you can walk in. Yeah. yeah. It gets confusing. The first, two, first two circles need... It should not be like a three minute circle. No. It's a minute and a half. I've never Maybe. had that issue in blackout, by the way. We always knew where the edge no. of the line was. Yeah. Yeah. Blackout they did a very, very good job of, of indicating where the zone was. Um, but in terms of like the map layout, do you guys have any issues with it? Too big, too many rooms. The rocks. Like there there's so many you can't climb rocks in this game. Yeah. That's one of my biggest issues too. It, it's hard to get up a hill. Yeah. Usually there's, usually it'll look like, oh, I I know I can mantle that, but you'll run up to it and you'll just keep jumping and you'll never get an action button to mantle. You'll, exactly. You'll slide back down and then that puts you in a situation where you're just gonna end up getting killed. For sure. There's there's a lot of rocks in that regard. The buildings yeah. don't really bother me as much, especially in no. standard war zone. If we're talking about plunder, that's a different thing, and I'm sure we'll talk about that at some point, but. In Warzone, the buildings don't really bother me, especially when the gas is forcing people out. Same. Yeah. Yeah. The, I don't really find too many people camping at all in, in the Battle Royale games. Like, you know, everybody is, is pretty rush heavy. I guess it's still that they're trying to learn the map a little bit more. So they're yeah. not playing as uh, casual or, or cautious, I should say. But, um, you know, it, I think I think so far, man, I've been having a really, really great time on the game because um for one it's just it's such such a simple battle royale to play you know there's no intricate um you know looting mechanics that you need to worry about you don't have to sort through a bag right like it's just it's so simple anybody can really play and just get the hang of the game already yeah and, and speaking on that being so simple the one thing that i took for granted are the door mechanics just being yeah. able to run through a door and not have to focus on opening it <laughs> Like, that is crazy to me, like, how simple it is to go through. Um, and while we're on the topic of learning the map, what's your guys' favorite spot to drop? Lazy, what's yours? There's a circle of houses next to a hill that has a lot of good loot and it's kind of secluded. But if I'm going for, like, a hot job, Superstore. Superstore. Yeah. Yeah, my, I was going to say Superstore as well, but sometimes I, I may get a little bit freaky and go to the downtown district um, just to, like, stack up on some good weapons and then head out you know immediately right there because that is also mm -hmm. a hot drop but superstore is very very mm -hmm. good my favorite is uh tv station broadcast TV station, station. Mm -hmm. yeah because That's... there's always a ton of people that go there but i guess the other question i have is what do you guys think is the uh the firing range or the tilted towers of this game mm. either tv or superstore yeah. yeah i was thinking the same <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've seen a lot of people storage. land at the dam, though. Yeah. But there's really not much there, to be honest. No. Yeah, all those, yeah, like the Superstore outskirts. and TV are kind of dead center. So those are always going to be hot. And there's there's a lot of different engagements and angles where people can shoot at you from and, and different, like, corners to take to. And it's a lot of fun. I really like those two drops a lot. Yeah. What would you guys do to change Warzone? Like, if you could change one thing to make it better um for me i i think uh definitely adding solos and duos for sure mm -hmm. but I, I i'm sure that's going to be coming um but honestly i think right now i i can't really think of anything that i would like to see changed because I, I don't really know the game all that much i haven't really um played enough casually to really like nitpick at so many little things 
Um, but so far, like, man, I, I think the game is, is a lot of fun for sure. It's very addicting. I've been wanting to play like for hours constantly at end, you know, but I can't really decide or pick at any little small minuscule thing like that. I don't know about you guys, but. So. Oh, boy. Let's start off with that. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's like, all right, let me get out my novel here. I have some all right. changes uh, that need to be made. Let's, let's start off with, uh, I think Thermo and uh, Overkill should be banned. Oh, my God. Uh, Can we please them. talk about this thermal scope, man? It's. <laughs> You can I'm see using, across the map, man. I'm using it in my gameplay right now. It's on the screen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're at a disadvantage if you don't use thermal. Exactly. Yeah. It's There's nothing tactical or anything about that in a BR. You're, you can see across the map. Here's the thing, though. Should snipers be considered a power weapon? Meaning that you have to find it to get it, and it should be excluded from create a class. That's kind of like why I want overkill ban because if you use it from a creative class, you're stuck with a sniper and a pistol. Yeah, that's you have to either find one on the ground or go find another drop drop out, True. load out, whatever. I think a lot of people would be upset about that though if they found out overkill was banned because some people like I don't know they like you know, to and, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, every here's my setup: overkill, sniper, and crossbow. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, you heard it right, buddy. <laughs> the crossbow? <laughs> yes, sir. It's a one-hit kill. That's true. And you can put a thermal scope on it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Yeah, it's great because what you do with the crossbow is you put the explosive tip on, you hit him, downs him in one hit, and then the explosion kills him. And it wipes him. They have no chance to revive at that point. Okay, Trust me, people thing. are pissed off because they're watching my gameplay right now. They're seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so kind of like the economy part, with right? the money and buying stuff. Uh, the ammunition box needs to be cut in half in price. No one's spending five grand for max ammo because there's already abundance of ammo, anyways. Yeah. Uh, the kill streaks, cluster, and airstrike, they need to be doubled in price. If you get one team that knows how to use them, they can be spammed on you. It's mad annoying. Yeah, because about... everyone can have one. Yes. What about redeploy? Do you think that needs to be increased? Like the gulag? Mm. Or I like... Think um, I think that's where fine you, where how it can, is. Where you, like, you can oh, buy money people? to redeploy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with re people redeploying. I'm cool with that. I, yeah. hate, I hate the gulag. I hate it so much. <laughs> I don't, it's, the guns in the gulag can be adjusted. It's not... No. Well, I'm just saying, like, no. when I think of Battle Royale, I don't think of people actually getting revived. Like, I guess it's right. more on an Apex Legends system, if you think about it, because you can redeploy people. Yeah. But, I don't know. It's, I guess because we played so much unique. Blackout. Yeah, it's unique is what I like about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not terrible, yeah. but it's just one of those situations where I'm hoping in the future they add a mode where you can just play and not have to worry about people redeploying. Because mm. I want to, mm -hmm. if I'm playing solo, I mean, solos, there'd be no redeploying. I don't think there would be because there's no squad to. Uh, I'd run. imagine there's st there's probably still a gulag. Oh well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Getting mm -hmm. two chances though seems kind of yeah. crazy. That's what I want. Oh, the the loadout drop. I get two two things that could happen with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either one, you can't buy it. You just have to get one that drops randomly, or increase the amount it costs to buy it, and you can only buy one per team. And Ooh. then you have to find it randomly. Yeah, I like that second one. <laughs> one per yeah. team. One per team. So only one person can get it. So let's say you have a sniper on your team, and it's like, I want my sniper. Then it's like, well, dude, I want my crossbow. No, no, no like one person can buy the dropout, and then everybody loots it. Oh, so you can only buy it once per game? Once once per game. Oh, I like that idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. I'm good with that. Once per game but, is good to me. Yep, just double the price, 12 grand. 12 grand. And then other people... Can't you drop money? Yeah, which yeah, is so why it's not could, that bad. You yeah, could drop the money and then someone could buy it. Exactly. Yeah, I really like the teamwork in this game. Can we like acknowledge that real quick? Like, you really yeah. do have to work together. Oh, the I love team the pinging. Such... I'm glad pinging yes. is there. Yes. Pinging yes. and marking and everything is there at launch. That was perfect. Yeah, and it's fluid too. It's 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 a fluid system. Although I will say like um i would i would like the pinging system to be on like my left bumper instead of like you know on the d-pad but I, i'm okay with that i just got to get used to it i guess because of apex you know because they have a ping system as yeah. well 
but I, I, I would prefer it to be on the left bumper, but I'm, I'm not opposed to having it on the D-pad. Like I said, too, it's it's just original, and I, I really do like that a lot, for I sure. Do I, I definitely agree with you, though, Lazy. I think that if they change that re- – uh, not redeploy, the um, create a class that you can buy, mm-hmm. just change that to once per game, per team. If they can do the <clears throat> sorry, if they can do that and take out overkill, it's gonna feel more like a BR with looting wise. I guess you don't have to buy mind, one. Yeah, you don't have to buy one thing, then you're set up for the entire game. Don't you just do it once though? What like, do you mean? Like, don't you only need to do it once in a game? Because if your team gets right wiped, now, yeah, like, you only need to do it once. Yeah, so it wouldn't really change nothing then. It would. You mean like just increase? Banned. Oh, ban overkill. And mm-hmm. then have that increase to 12,000. Yes. 100%. That I wonder what the people in the comments more... section think about that. Yeah, let us people know. People are probably going to hate it, but let it, us know, comments it's going to feel more like a BR. There's no looting aspect to this game right now. The looting aspect is get money, buy your loadout drop. Yeah, like I, I agree with that. I made a, a loot video a couple days ago and you know on the call of duty website it tells you every like different location it tells you like what kind of loot rarity there is mm-hmm. and um like i had a lot of comments to bring this up they were saying like you know you, you really don't need to worry about looting because you just can pull together the money to earn one of those loadout drops and you're set for the rest of the game yeah so but i mean i guess in terms of if you're, if you're wanting to like collect money like or yeah that's fine but if you want to loot other weapons and 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 upgrade your weapons it's not really a viable source to use so do you like Uh, not being able to choose your like attachments in game yeah yeah i think if we were to have you know a bunch a bunch of attachments scattered around it would there'd be like thousands of attachments yeah Yeah. dude it's just more things to remember (laughs) and worry about like oh man i gotta sort through this now and yeah it's like oh crap can i use this choke on this or no it's only a shotgun thing like yeah and modern warfare has so many attachments too like that would be insane to but just in general though like warzone is very promising it's a lot of fun right guys yeah Yeah, i think so i mean the thing that i'm missing right now and the thing that bothers me the most and i know we talked about this before recording just not having progression, being tied yeah. in with standard multiplayer and being someone who always gets max rank in the first three weeks. It's like, damn, you're sitting there for 50 days, basically, or 40 days, not ranking yeah. up, not earning anything. And sure, there's officer rank challenges, but it gets annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sent. I wish it was separate like Blackout, where there was separate prestige, separate all that. Mm-hmm. You remember in Blackout in the beginning... It only went to 55, right? Yeah, That'd we be... were sitting there for months. We're like, man, when is this coming? Yeah. Like, We even got bored <laughs> then. We were like, shit. Yeah, that was at our point where, where we were like, damn, like, what is, is there anything else to do? Because we were just playing like the game for, for no reason at that point, just to yeah. collect wins, I guess. But... And then the whole yeah. Dark Matter thing and the paint cans. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even want to remember that day. Yeah, that, that was a grind for sure. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys remember flying around and finding the pots of gold? Oh, yes, dude. We, we got into <laughs> so many fights, too. Oh, my so gosh. I, I remember we had that down. We we're just mm-hmm. like, all right, I know the exact path I'm going to take. And I was sitting there collecting, like, 200 cans a game. Dude, remember, I had, uh, like, six pots of gold in that one place, my eight stack. I remember that. Oh. They were just everywhere. Yes, it was a good day. I'm really dude. glad that we spent the time collecting getting Dark Matter then. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all want to go fun. play Blackout? <laughs> <laughs> Blackout was a lot of fun for sure. It was. I think we should spend a minute talking about Plunder. Go. Never played um, it. Never I, played it either. I like Plunder way better than Warzone. <laughs> how come? How come? Because, <laughs> dude, it's so much fun. Like, the hunts, like the bounties and shit, they actually matter in that mode. Because yeah. you could hunt somebody that's carrying $400,000, and then on top of that, your bounty, you can get rewarded like $75,000 on top of that. So the risk versus reward in that mode is awesome. We should really play. I'll play with you guys right now. Let's do it after. It's sweet, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you. And then you go around. You got to find as much loot caches as you can. And there's a bunch of money that comes out. And then constantly there's people hunting you. And you're constantly marked if you're the top earner. So there's teams coming from all over trying to kill you. It's so sick. Oh, that's that actually sounds like really, really exhilarating. It yeah. is. And then you have the full map. There's no gas. So you can go anywhere you want. The entire that's game. What, 
lazy. That's like your ideal like game mode right there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. You're missing yeah. out. Here you have people coming to you. You don't gotta go to them. So listen, yeah, I just want to like give that. a shout out to all my plunder players out there, cause plunder is <laughs> badass. Don't sleep on it. What? <laughs> what few there are? No, I'm kidding. But there, like, I'll it's check sweet, it out. man. I'll tell you what. Some of the most exhilarating moments is when you take over the gulag, and there's uh -huh. tons of people dropping on you, and they're trying to come get the money, cause there's so much cash there. That you just Ooh. sweep around like a vacuum cleaner, like Luigi's Mansion, and just picking it all up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, though, actually. That's like your ideal game mode. Like, yeah. you played it. It's sweet. It is sick. <laughs> um, Do you guys have any parting words to say? Yeah, don't sleep on Plunder. You guys should try it out. It's free to play. It's free oh, to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not sponsored video. Definitely not sponsored Fuck you, actually. Well, <laughs> <you're>... <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching. Love y'all so much. Peace. Bye. Bye.